Good morning, my smart students. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. It's mathematics time and today we have a new lesson. So I want you to be focused and ready to learn. So Sunday is the first day of the week and the date is April uh, 12, 2020. So let's go ahead and start the lesson. Here is the title. I'm going to give you some time to read the title. Excellent. Subtract across zero. Subtract across zero. So subtract, we are going to minus. So last week, we've talked about uh, subtract or subtraction, let me say. And we're going to continue to subtract, but this time across zero. So let's go ahead to the lesson and try to find out what does this mean. Subtract across zero. So, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to subtract from numbers ending in zero. So, remember, subtract means to minus and take away. Let's go to the mental math, and I want you, everyone, to use your background knowledge and to Recall the information you have about escape counting. So here, escape count by twos, escape count by fives, and escape count by tens. So go ahead and do it. It's super easy. Okay, here, um, let me say we're going to write or uh, write each number in expanded form, then write the number. So we've learned how to do this So uh, before. I want to also tell you all the information you have about expanded form. Okay, here we go. Let's start the lesson by watching the video about subtract across zero. So I want you to listen carefully because the video will give you information and will help you and let me say also um, guide you about how to subtract across zero so let's watch the video together tuning into this video um, today we're going to be looking at subtracting across zeros you guys have already really narrowed in your skills and become very affluent or very skilled at subtracting with regrouping well, now we're going to throw in just kind of a challenge or a little bit of a twist. All right, so if we take what we've practiced with subtracting with regrouping and we look at this problem, let's go ahead and kind of dissect it and see what we can do with this problem. So first, where do I always start? If you said in the ones column, you would be correct. So I would be taking zero minus 7 or 0 subtract 7 okay what do I get so everyone remember we need to start from the ones place remember this is very important when I subtract 7 from 0 <gasps> uh-oh you should have noticed that I can't do that so what do I have to do oh I go next door and I borrow from or I take away from what I have but Oh dear, what do I have here? I don't have any that I can take away, do I? So now, hmm, I'm gonna have to try something else. So I'm gonna teach you a little trick to help you with this after I show you how it actually works, all right? So what I have to do is I need to put something in this tens column for me to take to add to my ones, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go all the way to my hundreds place so everyone, uh, as you can see, the uh, number on the floor is more than the number on the top. So more on the floor, we need to go to the next door and ask for 10 more. But we can do this because also here, as you can see, 0. So we need to borrow to make number 0 bigger than 7, right? So, 
as I said to you, we need to go to the next door and ask for 10 more, but here also zero. So what we are going what we are going to do is to move to the hundreds place and borrow from here. And we make number zero, which is in the tens place, bigger than or greater than number five, and then we can borrow. So let's continue the video and see what will happen. And I'm gonna break it apart. Okay, so I'm going to take away from that. If I take away 100, how many hundreds do I have left? How many hundreds do I have left? Five, thank you. So I'm going to leave my five here. And now how many tens do I have? I have 10, okay? So now can I take my some of my tens and put them into my ones? You betcha. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go ahead and cross out my 10. And how many do I have left? If I have 10 tens, okay, I'm going to have nine tens left. And what does that leave in my ones column? So everyone, we made this number, uh, you know, great. So we can also regroup and borrow. See the process. Now, how many do I get? I get 10. Help if I had a pen. Okay, so now I have 10. Okay, so now can I go ahead and do my 10 minus 7 or 10 subtract 7? Yes. So what is 10 subtract 7? Should be 3. Okay. Can I take 9 minus 5? Okay, 9 subtract 5 would be 4. Okay. And then can I take 5 and subtract my 1 right here? It would be 4, okay? So my answer is going to be 443. Now I want to think about that. Does that make sense if I look at it? Let's check it. So if I wanted to do my fact family, I would take my 443, and I'm going to add it to my 157. Remember, the two smaller numbers will make my bigger number, okay? So if I add these up, 3 plus 7 is 10, regroup. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 5 is 10, regroup. And I have 6. So does it work? It works out because I get... So here, um, what did she do? She checked the answer. And later on, we're going to learn how to do this. So everyone, after watching the video, we get to know what to do regarding subtract across zero. So let's read the steps together here. I want you to listen to the steps. Please be focused and listen carefully. So step one, subtract the ones. You can subtract four ones from zero ones. We're talking about this here. So there are no tens to subtract from. So there's no tens over here because it's zero also. So look at the hundreds, we go to the hundreds, regroup 100 as 10 tens, then regroup uh, 110 as 10 ones. Subtract the tens, there are, let's say, uh, 9 tens left, subtract 3 tens from 9 tens. Step 3, subtract the hundreds, there are 3 hundreds left, subtract Two hundreds from the, or let me say from three hundreds. So I think this, uh, these steps are, um, you know, clear because uh, in the video we get to know what to do regarding subtract across zero. So if you look over here, I'm going to say it again. So there is, as you can see, zero here in the ones place and zero in the tens place. So what can we do is to borrow from the hundreds place. So we add here in the tens place, then we take from the tens place and give, uh, you know, the number which is in the ones place. We do it this way. So everyone, here, uh, task number one and task number two, it's up to you if you want to do two of them or as you like, you can choose one. So here also you're going to subtract across zero. So remember the uh, steps, 
uh, you need to go and borrow from the hundreds place. If we, if uh, as you can see, there's zero in the ones place and zero in the tens place, so you can go to the hundreds place to borrow from there. So um, here also there is a problem. Remember the strategies. Please read carefully. Uh, circle the numbers and also find the keywords. Also here you need to find the difference uh, between these two numbers. Okay, there is a game and I want you to play the game because it's uh, fun so don't miss the game. Go ahead and play it. Record yourself while playing the game and um, a video on class dojo and also please don't uh, let me go don't uh, forget to um, you know upload your answers in your portfolio on class dojo thank you and have a nice day thank you so much for listening